this video we're going to show you how you can black out text uh, inside EasyCut Studio. Very simple. Uh, with the text selected, I'm going to go ahead and select it. And what I'm going to do is under the wrench, uh, we do have the style. And this is the style of you can shadow, shadow, blackout, blackout. Blackout is what we wanted. And what a blackout will do, it will fill in all the holes uh, in the shape. So makes it very nice to, to have, especially when you're trying to lay text on top of each other. So let me go ahead and, and uh, go back to here, normal. I will go ahead and uh, fill in this. So let me sort of show you what I'm talking about when you're talking about layering text. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy this to the clipboard. So I'm going to go ahead and hit copy. And I'm going to change the color of this to black. So I'm going to go ahead and choose black. And then I'm going to go to the wrench and I'm going to choose black out. And you can see it's filled in. And if I go to uh, edit, paste in place, we can now see that you know, we, we do have the, the text that I copied to the clipboard on top of the black out. Now, of course, with the, uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the black again, the, the bottom layer, and go back to the wrench. And I can go ahead and choose, make that a shadow blackout. And you can sort of see that not only is it blacked out in the center, but now we have a nice shadow increase. Uh, you can increase the size right here so that it can go a little bigger if that's the effect that you're trying to do. Now, of course, when, uh, when we have text overlaying each other, when it's that big, um, you're going to want to make sure that you have the weld button selected. And if you haven't took a look at our weld video, you may want to take a look at it. But I'm going to go ahead and hide this just because when we do select the weld and we go to preview, you can see that uh, this would all be welded together. And the gray lines here indicate that it will not be cut. So that is uh, another tip because if you do not check the weld and you try to cut this, with um, with that selected here, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck it, and I go to Preview. You can sort of see that those shadows that we created, this entire red line would be cut out, and that's not the effect that you would want when you're doing this. So that is how you add a blackout as well as a shadow blackout to your design.